type. First of all, what is a software? We all react differently according to the situations. Have you ever thought how it becomes possible? Let us understand this with the help of an example. What happens when your teacher asks a question and you know its answer? You simply raise your hand, isn't it? What prompts you to raise the hand? It is the brain that gives you instruction to react in this manner. Similarly, a computer gets all the instructions from the software to perform various tasks. Software is the soul of a computer without which it cannot exist. Computer is a machine that does not possess any intelligence of its own. A computer without instructions is like a car without a driver. It requires a set of instructions given by a user to work on. These sets of instructions are called programs, which are written in computer languages. Software is the collection of programs that are stored and run on computer hardware and help users to work on the computer. Software is that part of computer which cannot be touched or seen. Okay students, hardware versus software. Which do you think is more important? Software is of two types. System software and application software. Do you know who is he? He is Vinod Dham. He is popularly known for his role in the development of the Pentium processor and considered as the father of Pentium. Let's first talk about system software. System software is defined as a collection of programs that controls the overall operation and internal working of the computer system. It reads data from input devices and transfers the process information to output devices. System software is of three main types, operating system, language processor and utility software. Operating system. Operating system is needed to operate a computer. An operating system controls the overall activities of a computer. It acts as a link between the user and the hardware and enables them to work together. Now let us look at an example for clear understanding. An operating system works like the principal of your school. As the principal has the various responsibilities to manage the school like supervising students, teachers and workers, maintaining discipline, the examination schedule, timetable, curriculum and attending parents and visitors etc. In the same manner, an operating system performs various functions to manage the working of a computer. Imagine what will happen if there is no principal in a school. Everything will be mismanaged. Similarly, if the operating system of a computer is not working properly, then you cannot work on it. MS-DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Unix, Linux, Mac OS are examples of some popular operating systems. Okay students, let us now learn the functions of operating systems. The main functions of an operating system are device management, input or output. An operating system controls the working of all input and output. I slash O devices. Memory management. An operating system assigns memory to various programs whenever required. It also frees the memory when it is not in use. Run software. An operating system runs the application software like Paint, MS Word, MS PowerPoint, etc. Processor Management An operating system manages the working of the processor by allocating various jobs to it. File Management An operating system keeps track of information regarding creation, deletion, transfer, copy and storage of files in an organized way. Security it provides security by means of passwords to prevent misuse of a computer. Students, know the fact that software is usually written in high-level programming languages that are easier and more efficient for humans to use, closer to natural language than machine language. High-level languages are compiled or interpreted into machine language object code. 
language processor. Each software is created by writing programs in computer languages. Some of the popular computer languages are Java, C, and C++. As we know that a computer can understand only the machine language, which comprises zeros and ones. Therefore, programs written in these languages cannot be recognized by a computer. Here, a language processor plays a vital role in translating the programming language into machine language. Utility Software Utility software performs specific tasks usually related to managing a computer, its devices or its programs. These programs assist in the smooth functioning of the computer system and help it to perform better. Some utilities help you to avoid virus attacks, to take backup of data, to recover data that has been accidentally erased, and so on. These include antivirus backup, disk repair, file management, security, and network programs. You can buy various utility programs from licensed computer stores. Some utility programs are also available free of cost on the internet. Antivirus utility. Provide protection to your computer against virus attacks. They include tools to recover lost files and protect your machine against system failure. Examples are VAS, AVG, Norton, etc. Backup is the process of recovering data in case of damage or accidental loss. Occasionally, a hard disk may fail, resulting in the loss of all files stored in it. Hence, an intelligent user keeps his files and backup storage devices so that the original files can be restored at the time of such failures. Example, CD, flash drive, etc. Compression. It is a process that shrinks files so that less disk space is occupied. The files that are bigger in size need to be compressed while sending as an email attachment. These files cannot be read directly and must be decompressed to their actual form before use. Examples, WinZip, PKZip, 7-Zip, etc. Let us now discuss about the application software. These are the sets of programs developed by programmers in order to perform specific types of jobs. Like beautifying the document, doing calculations, arranging data in an organized manner, making airline or railway reservation system, etc. Computer languages are used in creating these types of software. The application software can be further divided into two categories. General Purpose Application Software These software can perform many tasks to fulfill the general needs of people. Some of the examples of General Purpose Application Software are Word Processing Software A word processor helps us to create professional-looking documents quickly and efficiently. It provides many features to change the appearance of the text in a desired manner. You can easily add, delete, rearrange or beautify the text and can even produce a hard copy of the document as per the requirement. Examples, Microsoft Word, WordPad, OpenOffice.org Writer, etc. Let me now share an interesting fact with you. Seymour Rubinstein founded MicroPro International INC in 1978. MicroPro developed the WordStar word processor. Do you know what electronic spreadsheet is? Let me tell you about it. A spreadsheet program helps you to perform calculations and display the data in the form of a chart to analyze in a better way. It is used for creating documents to manage and organize numerical data. Some of its application areas are financial accounting, cost analysis, interest calculations, etc. VC Calc was the first computer spreadsheet program. Examples Microsoft Excel, Lotus 123, OpenOffice.org, Calc, etc. We will now discuss the database management system. Each one of us uses database unknowingly in our daily routine. For example, managing telephone directories, payroll information, etc. 
Database software helps us to arrange and store a large amount of information in an organized manner. You can easily create, add, find, update, sort, search, print and retrieve the information stored in the database. Examples, Microsoft Access, OpenOffice.org Base, FoxPro, Oracle, etc. Okay, let me share an interesting fact about database technology. Charles W. Batchman received Turing Award in 1973 for its outstanding contribution in database technology. Presentation Software Presentation software is used to present an idea or concept in a lively manner. This software helps you to create and display slides on a computer or a projector for business and educational purposes. It lets you create slides, charts, animation and database technology. Charles W. Batchman received Turing Award in 1973 for its outstanding contribution in database technology. Presentation Software Presentation software is used to present an idea or concept in a lively manner. This software helps you to create and display slides on a computer or a projector for business and educational purposes. It lets you create slides, charts, animation and video clips. Examples, Microsoft PowerPoint, OpenOffice.org, Impress, Adobe Flash, etc. Let us now talk about the desktop publishing software. This application helps you to combine both text and graphic features to design professional documents like newsletters, printed forms, advertisements, books, brochures, posters, magazines, etc. Examples, Corel Draw, Adobe InDesign, Quark Express, etc. Graphic software is used to create images such as charts, graphs, photographs, logos, cartoons and much more. For example, Paint, Photoshop, AutoCAD, Dreamweaver, etc. Multimedia software is used to create video, animation, sound, graphics and text with a high degree of interaction. For example, game software, Windows Media Player, Windows Movie Maker, etc. Let us talk about special purpose application software. Software which are designed to meet the specific needs of any user or call specific purpose application software. Examples, Tele, Busy, etc. Such software are also known as customized software. Some of the customized software are as follows. Reservation system, billing system, payroll system, etc. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Software is the collection of programs that are stored and run on computer hardware and help users to work on the computer. Software is of two types, system software and application software. System software is a collection of programs that control the overall operations of a computer and its devices. Utility programs perform specific tasks usually related to managing a computer, its devices or its programs. Application software are sets of programs developed by programmers in order to perform specific types of jobs.